Hello again everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. We have returned here in uh, the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary and I'm going to continue on with the assassinations for now I think. It's been quite a boom um, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. Of course. It's no fair. I love weddings. Astrid should have given this contract to me. Instead she's got me visiting cities and assessing security. How boring. But listen, I think I can help you. The wedding reception is outside the Temple of the Divines, right? In solitude? If so, the bride will probably address the crowd from the balcony. It overlooks the courtyard. Well, there's an old statue there. I've seen it. Hanging right over where I shall be standing. Oh. Old means weak. Weak means it's full. Hmm? Oh, so we have two potential have options contract? now for that. For have a good contract. Uh potential options for that now. We have uh, the, the the archery position from across the courtyard and we have this potentially weak statue too. Very interesting. Brother. Or Aaron Bjorn, what's he saying? You gotta kill a soft little woman on her wedding day. What's next? Murdering a crippled orphan in his sleep? Uh, that's, that could be an option. Later, Ham -ha. That, you know, I, I'm, I'm not I'm not against that in the right circumstances. I'm joking, that's, that's not really that nice. It's not nice at all. Then again, am I a nice person? No, not really. Uh, right. So, but the two options that we do have uh, for that until uh, before we go and kill Victoria Vici, uh, we have the wizard Malaril, who is in the in, who is in the dwarven ruin of Mazinka left, or there is Helvard, who is the house Carl of Falkreath. I'm gonna try and get the trickiest one out of the way first. Falkreath is only over there. Uh, we might as well fast travel anywhere, though. I don't think I'm. Don't, I don't think I need to go anywhere around this uh, current locale. So, what time are we on? We are on 9:42 p.m., which I think is an ideal time to be coming into this job. Uh, I think it's a good idea to try and do this while we're um, while the guy might be sleeping or off duty. Because the owl's obviously not going to be doing anything at this time here. Okay, so where is the... Uh, the house Carl's there. So, he, so he is on his own currently. Let me just survey the situation. He, there's no one else in here. Like, visible anyway. I could down an invisibility portion, which I think I have. It's only a brief one. 20 seconds. But if I do... See, I, I'm not convinced he's going to go down in one in one go either. I'll take, I'll, take, I'll take an elixir of true shot. And a portion of brief invisibility. And we will quick save. And we just have to kind of go for it, I think, here. <sighs> And hope for the best. Fingers crossed. No witnesses. Nothing at all. Janassa, please, you are seriously sabotaging us here. Oh, did I just do my did I just do my forward roll there? I think I I think I actually just did my forward roll. I'm very happy about that. I'll tell you what, that that's that's a rough sight to find that, isn't it? Okay, let me just take my leave. Hopefully no one finds that body anytime soon. Well, let's be honest, it's gonna it's gonna be the, it's gonna be the morning where someone's gonna find that. Right, so that was pretty pretty well executed, I think. Um so we, we do Malaril now as well. Mazinka left. We have been to Mazinka left, we know. Uh, so the the, the play, it has been a while ago, so the place may have been repopulated, I think. Um yeah, you can always always already see there is bandit. But close enough. Oh, oh. Is someone there? That that's such a such a nice visual that isn't it? Just just, just the just the arrow slamming straight into someone while they're on their chair like that. Really good. Right, so we're gonna have a bit of a skirmish here, I think, to get into this uh, ruin now, as they do sort of know where we are. Not 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 directly where we are. We could probably still pick up one or two of them if we're lucky. Um, 
people have to be careful. They're all about the wizard, which may be the guy that's already in here, Malaril. What was that? Oh, he didn't die. She did, though. He's gonna go flying. Goodbye, sir. Yeah, there he goes. She's gonna go flying. You're gonna go flying. Y'all gonna die. Goodbye, sir. Right. Not gonna lie, that actually made me feel quite badass. The way I, the way I just kind of smashed through those uh, those bandits. That was probably. It's probably the most satisfied I've felt kill, <laughs> killing a few bandits in a while. That was uh, that was fun. I'm not gonna lie. Right. So let's head down to Mazinkalef now. This could be dwarven machinery and whatnot in here. It wouldn't shock me. But let's sneak. sneak. He he is in this this cell. Um, is the uh, is the wizard. So, he is apparently meant to be quite tough, from what um, Nazir was saying. So we'll have to keep our wits about us. And we, and we all know what my elemental resistances and stuff are like. They are pretty appalling. What was that? Now you're ah! Goodbye. Vigorous healing, nice. He has a surprising amount of bandit support. But that bandit support is whittling down very, very quickly. Gold, bow and arrow. It's not wild for the bandit loot right now. Here we are definitely getting closer and closer to him. Yeah, these guys are really going down. Right, I, I think he's in the next room now. So this should... In, in, if we're lucky, this is, this is going to be like an in and out kind of job, I think. Uh, oh, that reminds me as well. I need to give Janassa a, uh, one of her swords back. Do I still have it? No, because she had Dawnfang slash Duskfang, and she also had... She had another one. I can't remember which one it was she had, but, um, yeah. Which one was it that she had? I can't remember, but 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 apparently, the, in the an episode or two ago, she was dual-wielding Mirren's Razor and a pickaxe. Which, I'm not going to lie, is not, an, is not a particularly fantastic weapon set. It's not one that I would recommend, so I'm probably gonna have to give her one of her swords back. That, 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 that she was using. Malaril's room key. Ah, so we just came in here ages ago and got this key. That's a quick save. Hopefully, he's looking away from us. Yeah, all right, Malaril. And just like that, he was no longer with us. Good times. Right. That, that was a very effective infiltration, I think. I think I think we did a good job. I mean, don't be wrong, if there's any kind of alarm system, I probably would have been in, I probably would have been in a bit of trouble. But you know what? There isn't. There's no alarm system, all the dwarven machinery in this area of the rune is currently inactive, so yeah, we're, we're fine. We're absolutely fine. Totally fine. So we just need to get back out of Mazinkalef now and go and see Nazir again. I think there is like an animal sanctuary just outside of here, Mazinkalef here that I did go and investigate, so I'll probably do that before I go back. Just to see if there's anything nice there. Anything nice and exciting. Like, you know, wild animals, which there inevitably will be. Okay. Um... Mm, 
Are we getting up there? I think we'll get up there. Yeah, we'll get up there. Easy peasy. This is probably going to take us somewhat close to us, think, uh, where we, we where, where we do need to go to get um, to get uh, the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, which has been on our agenda for quite some time now. Uh, it's just we have a lot of other things on our agenda as well, which you know is just the nature of Skyrim and the RPG. Really, you you, you, you do get sidetracked very, very easily. So I, I, could, I could go to Ustengard now, in a way. I, I, I could go there now, and I could get that dealt with. But do I want to? I don't know. What is our map looking like? Uh, to be fair, it's doable, isn't it? I, I might do it. I, I, might, I might go and get the horn. Because it's been a while since we've actually made any progress on the main quest. I keep on forgetting. This is not an animal sanctuary. This is the this is the fucking Stormcloak camp, isn't it? It's a Stormcloak camp. I consistently forget if you know any that this is a Stormcloak camp. Honestly, I always forget that that is the layer, that that is the mark for the Stormcloak camps. This is the Chalmarch Stormcloak camp. Where's the local? Uh, where's the local merchant? Here's what I can spare. Uh, yeah. See, this is the this is the funny thing. He's he's out here and he's and he's selling all these. Like, look at the look at the stuff he's selling. Like, he's selling drag dragon scale armor and stuff. And despite that, he, the he, uh, the Stormcloak units are still using pretty bog standard gear. I'm not gonna lie. I w I wouldn't be too thrilled with. Um, with what you call it, uh, my quartermaster. If I found out, if I, if I if I found out he was using that stuff, I really, really wouldn't. I would not be a happy bunny. Right, so let me try and get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, what is this? this is, I think. Uh, yep, that will do. That's actually quite good. To be fair, that's worked out well for our. Uh, our budget's right. Should we go? Right, yeah. Let's let's go to Ustengar. Yeah, I think we'll go to Ustengar. We'll quick save here just, just in case we come across any, you know, dragons or anything on the way there, which is perfectly possible. But Ustengar awaits. And then once we've done Ustengar, we'll go back to Vizier anyway. I imagine we'll probably have to go back to. Um, High Hrothgar, that's it. I have, have to go back to High Hrothgar uh, for the main quest after this. Let me just... Oh, it's Ustin Grav! I thought it was Ustin Garv. It's Ustin Grav. Look at me. I am just the worst. The horn of your... It is Jürgen Windcaller, isn't it? Jürgen Windcaller. Yeah, right. So we shall go and retrieve said horn from Ustin Grav. Oh, damn necromage. Oh, no. There we go. A sword straight into the clavicle? I think that I think that was the clavicle I just stabbed her in. Probably in probably not, the, not the most pleasant part if you wanted to get sold through. Not, not that anywhere is really pleasant, but you get it. Okay, so this is Ustengrav. I, I, I always thought it was Ustengrav. That, that, that's actually made me question a lot of things. Especially my, my, my simple ability to read, I think, is the main one that's being questioned right now. Uh, yeah, so this is pretty... Skooma. We have Skooma. If I get, I well, if I get caught with that, I'm gonna be in trouble. Right. Ustengrav. Um, yeah, let's, let's just head in. Uh, right. What was our map saying then? So we have two. Was that two options? 
Oh no, we just have two two things currently active, which we don't really want. Let's just let's just focus on the horn. Focus on the horn now. There's dead bandits around. Which oh, what on earth is happening over there? Genuinely, what in the fuck is going on over there? I'm gonna use my ebony arrows just in case. Just in case that this place is too tough. We don't want to waste our high court. Seriously, what is happening? Like, there seems to be a fight, but no one really seems to be too bothered about it. I mean, that has to be another necromage, doesn't it? It has to be. Yeah, these are definitely enemies. So what? Oh, it's a massive necromancer. Hit! Shh, kill him before... Oh, my lord. I was going to say, kill her before she starts launching fireballs all over the job. Really quickly as well. And she heals quickly too. Right, we are a little bit... Unfortunately, that was kind of what stuffed us and made us, made us get into a real fight. Uh, so that was completely my fault. Uh, right, what? Uh, chest. Bits and pieces. Would you shut your mouth? I always to avoid these types of things. Yeah, we've not missed anything over here, have we? Probably not. Ooh, Draugr. Exciting. Skirmishes elixir. Skirmishes. Skirmishes dual wielding. Like I'm, I'm just, I'm down myself now. Oh, it's light armor. All oh, right, okay. The more you know. I must have something completely different in my head. There's depth. There's a lot of their bodies here, by the way. A lot. Some of them are mages. Some of them are bandits. Some of them are drowger. Oh. I have. Absolutely no idea what's going on. Tell you what, I would rather kill a fireman than the the dragon. I'd say it's something, but I would, ra I would rather that be the case. What shout do I have equipped? It's marked for death. So. being directly engaged so in a sense the way I'm looking at it is that I'm just letting them wear each other out so by the time that we go and actually get involved that door's gonna open at some point yeah, by the time we go and get involved there will be less enemies to deal with because they'll have just killed each other I'm guessing it's just the cop the mages and the draugr have uh, just trying to sc scrap with each other at the moment uh, that's all I can currently surmise Uh, there's a lot of minor healing potions here, which I'm not, I guess I'm not wild about. If you have loads of them and use them all at the same time, that's one thing, but, um... Let's switch the ladder. I've probably read, like, every skill book in the game by now, to be honest with you. I feel like I'm just not getting any increases when I read them nowadays. There's probably some very rare ones lying around still, but I have not found those yet. Right, I think on that note, guys, we're going to end uh, this episode here. Next episode, we'll carry on through Uston Grav, and we shall um, 
try and retrieve this horn. Uh, yeah, so it's going pretty well so far. We'll see if that continues in the next episode. So thanks again, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.